Welcome everyone to IDB. It is Andrew here and we're going hands on with the new heart rate features inside of watchOS 3. These were not included in the previous builds of the watchOS betas, watchOS 4 that is, but they were included here in watchOS 4 GM. Basically, they're trying to make it easier for you to learn what your heart rate is and learn more about your heart health. For instance, your heart rate complication on your watch face. You can see what your heart rate is and how long ago it read that heart rate. Obviously, you can tap it to go into the heart rate app itself. And when you do go in there, there's new little splash screen that tells you about this new feature where the heart rate app can notify you when they detect more or less an irregular heartbeat. Essentially, if your heart rate is elevated, but you really haven't moved at all. So they're going to use different pieces of data from the heart rate app, as well as the accelerometer and other information to see if your heart rate is high when it might not supposed to be. The heart rate app also got a few changes as well. Now you can view other than just your current heart rate, you can view your resting heart rate, as well as your walking indoor cycle average, which are based on workouts that you regularly do. And then the recovery, which is how fast your heartbeat gets back to your resting heart rate after it's elevated from an exercise. You can tap the back button in the top left hand corner to go back to a list view. You can swipe through by just going from bottom to top or top to bottom, or you can use a digital crown to jump between any of those metrics on your Apple Watch. Of course, all of this data is written back to the health app. So it's accessible not only from here on your watch, but from your phone and any other app that accesses that health data to display as well. So here under heart, we have heart rate, resting heart rate, those exercises that I often do, so walking and cycling, and then even breathe is in here from the breathe app. And then there's elevated heart rate notifications. So these are any time that it warns you about that elevated heart rate. And they again include that little blurb of text about what that means and when it'll send you those notifications. So it'll actually track how many of those it sends and keep track of that here inside of the health app. Of course, after more time, it'll show up more inside of the health app in the graphs. Since this is a new feature included in the GM, there's not a lot of data to go off of, pretty much just until the middle of the day when this was installed. Here you can see what those notifications would look like if you actually got one of those your heart rate's too high notification and letting you know that you've been sitting around for a certain amount of time, but your heart rate for some reason is above 120. Apple will also be working with the FDA and Stanford on a new study, the Apple Heart Study, to help detect things like atrial fibrillation. These are often diagnosed and they can affect millions of people and basically just irregular heartbeats. And you may not notice that thing, but if you have an Apple Watch on your wrist, so the most popular heart rate monitor in the world that millions of people are wearing, they're working with Stanford and FDA to run a study that will be available in the App Store later this year to help monitor those things and hopefully help detect them in more people. To see what else is new in watchOS 4 and everything else coming to the Apple Watch Series 3, be sure to keep your eyes on IDB and check out our past videos on watchOS. Otherwise, please, please go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, it is Andrew for IDB.